Welcome to another video. You know what I mean? Well, hey there guys and welcome to Oklahoma City. I'm here staying with a patron and subscriber who I will be introducing to you in a very short time. And today I'm talking about, well, j jack of all trades, basically being able to do stuff. And this is something that really just cropped up last night, speaking to my host, Richard, because this guy is pretty amazing. He does everything himself. He's really good at building things out of metal. He messes around with electronics. I mean, I'll, I'll get him to talk about the stuff he does in a short while, but it just got me thinking. And I don't know anyone in China who does anything similar to that. And, you know, I myself, you know, I fix motorbikes and cars and, and I do everything I can fix. If anything goes wrong in the house, plumbing or electricity wise, I normally fix it in China because you don't really find people that are capable of doing these jobs well. Um, and in China, everybody's very specialized. So you don't get someone who's very well rounded, really. You'll get people who are really smart and very focused on a specific thing. So you'll get really good programmers or you'll get, you know, really good people who do specific things like accounting or if they're a laborer or a construction worker, they will do that one job very well. But you'll find they're actually not capable of doing anything outside of their field of focus, uh, which is kind of strange. And a lot of my friends, uh, myself included, tend to like to do things themselves and fix their own little problems in and around the house and things like that. But in China, anything breaks, you'll call up probably the closest thing you have to a jack of all trades are these guys who run these hardware stores, which are called Wu Dian, which means five metal shop. And uh, what they'll do is they'll come up and, and fix things here and there. But once again, they, they're only really capable of doing mm, little household things like maybe fix a leaky faucet or tap or maybe do some electrical work for you and that kind of thing but they don't do anything outside of that and they never do anything really out of passion so i'm going to call in my uh patron and subscriber here we are please introduce yourself to everybody by the way thank you very much for thank having you. me over and no this problem. this is your shop right this is my area yeah. in this big building yeah yes so uh, my name is richard I live here in oklahoma city and I've been following winston for oh about a year and Decided to invite him when I heard about this trip. Yeah, cool. So now I was telling everybody that you tend to work with your hands a lot. You do a lot of things. I've personally seen some of the stuff you've done, but maybe you can tell people some of the things you enjoy doing and making. Uh, I do a little bit of rough woodworking, nothing fancy or finish, and I do all sorts of metal work. Metal work here, from welding to a uh, we have a CNC plasma table over here, so we make signs and decorations and numbers for houses and. Uh, hardware for curtains and windows and it's it's more decorative than functional a lot of the time but it's mm. something that we need yeah uh, not only that you know you've got a 3d printer at home yeah. right and uh you know he's a bit of a maker so he does all sorts of things i've seen you tinkering around with your electronics yeah which is cool i mean it's very rounded you wouldn't expect usually someone who does sort of plasma cutting and welding to then go and build electronic circuits and stuff so it's really cool to see that yeah no. I, had, I had the chance to go to a high school in oregon that had a very broad offering of courses and one of the courses was in programming and I did that I thought I was going to become a programmer and then realized I didn't want to sit at a desk so I went to school for engineering and then realized I don't want to work in an office so I ended up working for myself yeah that's pretty sweet um, another thing he's really good at is brewing beer and uh, you know I, I got to sample some of it last night fantastic job I couldn't tell the difference between like a, a proper like really professional brew house and, and what you make so yeah I got a chance to give him a couple clones so he could yeah. see if he could tell them apart yeah and, and I couldn't tell the difference um, I actually preferred his beer to be honest but you name it this guy does it himself and that's that's the thing and it just got me thinking that I honestly haven't met anyone like yourself in China before no Chinese guy I've met people that are incredibly capable and you know doing one specific thing but not such a broad spectrum of things and I think it's 
it's fairly, or at least compared to China, it's fairly common to find people that have a broad range of skills over here. So, yeah, we're lucky enough to have multiple of them in the building, and we all work together on some big projects, and it's great. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you once again for watching, and uh, thanks to all the people that came to the Albuquerque meetup. Meet uh, that was pretty cool. And uh, having another meetup tonight in Oklahoma City. If any of you guys are available, come around. Otherwise, you know the drill, as always. Stay awesome.